Who likes flying? Lots of people don't. Lots of people find it a phobia to fly. How about flying out of or to a haunted airport? How does that sound? Does that really float your boat? Fly your plane? Hi guys, this is the Exit Light Channel. As everybody knows, I'm Rob. And today we're going to talk about some haunted airports around the world. If you can, and if you will please, could you give this video a thumbs up? Because that always helps, it always helps Tracy. And could you please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And share, share this video with your friends, with your enemies, people you don't like. And I'm sure it'll do the trick. Okay. Islamabad Airport, Islamabad, Pakistan. Islamabad International Airport has come into operation only recently in 2018. The construction started in 2007 and supposedly took that many years to build because of ghosts. People claim to feel a heavy energy at the airport and don't feel comfortable <laughs> at the airport at night. <laughs> <laughs> workers always felt the good old pressure on the chest thing the good old pressure on the chest thing that's not my reading it's how it's wrote just like in Honolulu it seems that ghosts are franchising out people who shared rumours on social media of relatives working at the airport making claims of supernatural shenanigans Security guards are reportedly losing consciousness due to ghostly presence, though it is probably more easily explained by a combo of boring work. The combo of boring work is done overnight and comfortable chairs. Well, that's a bit of a bit of a weird one. They're disproving their own point. <laughs> disproving the fact that the airport is supposedly haunted, but anyway, anyway. So where are we in that part of the world? Now, Kemp Golda, Kemp Golda, K-E-M-P-E-G-O-W-D-A. Okay, Tracy, did you get that? Kemp Golda International Airport in Bangalore, India. Bangalore may pride itself on being the IT hub but its Camper Golda International Airport is supposedly home to creatures more ghoulish than any Silicon Valley investor. The best, the best story claims that they're a lady in a white sari. Now, this white lady. Now we've got a white lady in a white sari. A white, a white lady in a sari. We have white ladies every. There's white ladies everywhere. Is it the same white lady? Is it the same one? Or is it like is there a, like a group of white ladies who get together every morning and go, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there. Because this is ridiculous. But anyway. Um, so the, a lady in a white sari on, on the runway. A pilot called the airport staff to help her, but she vanished by the time they reached the area. It's not the only time she's been seen at the airport. Staff claims to have seen in other parts of staff claims staff claims to have seen her in other parts of the area. She has also appeared in the cargo building next to one of the escalators and even the parking bay. Maybe she's waiting for a daylight flight. I think that's supposed to be a joke. I tell you what is a joke, the grammar in this um website it is terrible right tracy's favorite place mine and tracy's favorite place guess where it is can you guess trace denver international airport denver usa denver international airport is probably the most famous haunted airport in the world apparently 
there are issues with the construction and you know why or because it was built on top of a sacred native american burial ground this is always a good idea as attested by stories surrounding this Suvabarnaham airport I can't even I apologise for murdering that word but there you go Suv, Southern Arnabum airport of course Denver attracts more conspiracy crackpots than ghost hunters I think I might be one of those conspiracy crackpots there you go me and Tracy if you wonder what Tracy's doing at this minute now, she's parked outside in an RV, um, waiting, waiting to see UFOs. <laughs> the murals in the airport are kind of weird, kind of weird, They're absolutely diabolical, which makes all the Illuminati weirdos really unduly excited. Oh, and there's a matter of a giant hell horse statue that stands in front of it but that obviously is haunted as well however the most unusual spooky thing that you can expect to encounter at the airport is a fl <laughs> it's flight disruptions flight delays cancelled flights overbooking i can tell you about one spooky um airport that we flew into when i was in the army we we uh, we're in Cyprus. We spent six, nearly seven months in Cyprus, and we landed at night in RAF, RAF Akutiri, um, which was basically a runway and a barn, and that was pretty much it. And that was eerie, to say the least. And I wouldn't like to spend any time around there at night. Other than the fact that we got off a plane and got on a coach, that was it. That was enough. That was far, far, far long enough than it had to be. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you had a laugh. I've had a laugh. I hope that I've not murdered too many names. Ken Pagoda, International Airport, Bangalore, India. Islamabad Airport in Islamabad, Pakistan. You know... Are we going to be going to these places? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know, do we? We don't know what the what's around the corner. Anyway, I hope everybody's okay. Hope everybody is taking care of each other. And till next time, God bless. And I will see you all soon.